Now, for those of you who have me on Snapchat, you would have already seen my reaction to this song, so this isn't a reaction. Now, there are loads of series on YouTube like Will and Ease, This Week on the Internet, Mimi Liss's Last Month This Happened, and Jack Mates Rank Bank. Today's video is an introduction to my series, probably most similar to Joe Willard's Internet Modes, but instead, in each episode, we focus on an individual who should just do us all a favour and just take themselves off the internet. Now, we start off with this guy. <sighs> YB. I mean, for, <laughs> for starters, the name was already taken about five times. Like, there's YB from Ninth Street, YB from Harlem. So, immediately, red flags are flying. Because if you want to be noticed, at least have an original name. Anyways, it started on Instagram and he tells me to check out his page. I go on YouTube and I see the song. I, I just found it cringe. And it turns out he's just some generic light skin. And his name's Gilbert. <laughs> and he looks like he escaped City. I mean, like, he's made a song called Money Bob after Bossman probably said he could keep the change. I mean, <laughs> flip it, man. The song's called Money Bob. He's wearing a tractor that's three years old. <laughs> Where, oh my days, it wouldn't be as bad if his friends weren't wearing designer clothes in the background whilst a guy attempting to sing is wearing some dusty night tracks he but <laughs> anyway there's about three positive comments that were actually well received and the rest of them oh, the rest are at the bottom of this already iconic comment section when i say well received i mean the only comments i got a ton of likes are just violating them i mean you begin to get the idea that this wasn't the most supportive place on youtube when you find that <laughs> you find that the most like comment reads when the set 8 teacher leaves the class for 10 minutes. No, nobody likes being called set 8, man. And the funny thing is, this was one of the nicer comments. I mean, we have this guy who said, looks like the SS forgot to shoot some people, which isn't a nice thing to say. And then we have this guy who says, this is why knife crime still exists. Now, <laughs> at this point, it became apparent that this was not a child-friendly zone. As I dug deeper into the forest of this comment section, the comments became surprisingly harsher. There were a couple just dissing his choice of drip whilst making a song called Money Bop. But then there were some people pointing out key features to his attire that, quite frankly, contradict the title of this embarrassment of a song. One in particular, Tommy Watch with the Glass Brack Up, do the Money Bop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that made me laugh particularly hard. Comments like, I won't lie, this is kind of crusty though. <laughs> <laughs> also made me laugh quite a bit when you consider that the way he structured the criticism suggests that he's actually a friend of Gilbert unlike the friends who gassed him up enough to do this song this guy's actually bringing Gilbert back to reality and just telling him how it is who calls us <laughs> who calls us so crusty <laughs> but as I said the comments really did become increasingly harsh and this was realised immediately after reading Guy on the right of the thumbnail reminds me of Stephen Hawking. To which somebody replied, I thought he looked the best out of all of them in the thumbnail. And when you think about how rude this insult is, you begin to get an idea that there were a lot of recently divorced dads in this comment section looking to get their anger out on poor old Gilbert. Surprised I didn't see any racist... Oh wait, somebody called him a... Actually, not to be fair, nobody took the racist uh, route in this comment section. Oh wait, no, no, his friend... His Asian friend got called Jackie Chan and Rice gone. Ouch. Nah, but how could, <laughs> how could someone say Rice Gum looking awkward in the background? Because this would genuinely make you think that he's actually... <laughs> and again, someone said, I like the Jackie Chan feature though. Like, this is the definition of casual racism. Oh, my days. Someone even called him Korean Billy. <laughs> and if you know who he is, you'll know how funny this is. Literally every Asian known to man found his way into this conversation. Just leave the guy alone, man. He's just trying to support his friend. And there it is. That's the problem. I get that they're trying to support his friend, but the music thing is not for everyone. I think that's not the... That's the most harsh but honest comment in this whole section. These men are fake friends. How are they encouraging this guy? Music is not for everyone. And it's true, because this guy is surrounded by yes men. And it's Pete, because he'll probably see this. He'll see this video, but someone had to say it. And at least I'm not even being that peak. What was peak? was when someone, who I can only assume is his cousin, said, Is this song made to lose brain cells or family members? Because I'm ashamed and embarrassed to be your cousin. Now, for me, when I saw that, I was like, Yeah, that's enough comments for one day. Nah! <laughs> who am I kidding? Other personal favourites include, Yo, where are you? Studio, innit? The guys at the train station! <laughs> No, 
Someone said, why is he throwing gun signs for? He looks like <laughs> 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 he looks like he plays badminton. <laughs> no. No, someone said when your mum gives you money to buy milk and she says you can keep the change. <laughs> No offence. So, <laughs> someone said, no offence, but these guys look proper disabled. Not just disabled, proper disabled. I mean, someone said, money flop. Someone said, I mean, the director did a good job. Someone else said, when you give boss man one pound for a 95p drink and you tell him to keep the change. Someone else said, nah, this was actually filmed in a college car park between lessons. Look at these man. <laughs> someone said... <laughs> Someone said When you've been doing paper out for a month Nah You made me wait this long for this Beep Got the sauce Yeah you know you want that Yeah that That, <laughs> that 10 pound That tracks you Yeah <laughs> Someone said My bro in HMP Pentaville prison Recorded a better quality song And his Nokia 520 Has a microphone Just let that sink in And the last one my guy wa- wasted all his child benefit on this song, and it's literally the set eight anthem. <laughs> all in all, it's clear that Gilbert here needs to focus on his A levels because there just isn't much of a future for him in the music industry. Maybe his next song would be good, you never know, but there's more of a chance that Joe Swanson will break the 100 meter record than that ever happened. So, yeah, that's. <laughs> That's it for the first ever episode of nonsensical behaviour. Pretty much, comment below anything you ever see that you think deserves an episode of nonsensical behaviour. Pretty much in this series, if you see something mad, literally just shout me Instagram, Twitter or Snap. If it's video worthy, then I'll make an episode of it. So yeah, let's hit 1.3k subs. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back again soon. Shot three car doors get popped in the A man lurk on the trees like I'm from that place Catch me up, my chef in that street shave man dip him up in escape We well, you know about big fat shank in your waist or a tin a dinger containing a gauge Slap this dot shows fly in your face Back to the block, oh do you get